Okie dokie, Tom here. I'm here to give an update on my recent pickups and uh, give an update on a couple of older pickups. Um, my brother had been given a PlayStation with a bunch of games back here and in uh, here. And I um, traded him for some money he owed me for it. He's got a great lot of um, RPGs for it. Uh, see here, games it's got Shadow Madness, Digital Card Battle Digimon, Final Final Fantasy IX. These are all complete and they have the manuals. Um, the manuals for most of the RPGs are a little beat up because they're stored separately because uh, they were referenced a lot. There's Azure Dreams. Hmm, haven't really checked over the discs that much. Oop. A little dusty. A few small scratches. Not too bad. Not to be expected with some casual players, which the person who gave it to my brother was. This is Vandal... no, Wild Arms. Hmm, let's see. I wonder if this is supposed to have more than one disc. Hmm. Thought I had everything for everything, but maybe not. Another RPG. Uh, let's see here. Tales of Destiny. Hmm. There's some instructions too. Here's Command Conquer Red Alert. And one that looks pretty neat. Vandal Hearts. With instructions. Breath of Fire 3. In here, he stored, the original owner did, um, PlayStation Magazine discs. Uh, there's 33, and then uh, 35, and then older, March to, or possibly newer, 2001, September 2000, October 2000, February 2001. Etc. Then on to the arcade pickups. Got this from eBay. This is a Virtua Cop 3 light gun for arcade. It was, um, Saul didn't know what it was, just was just selling it as a generic gun. But it's a Chihiro gun for the Chihiro arcade platform and has the same element as Naomi guns. So, this little black thing here, paying it works. Usually sells for about 85 bucks on eBay. I got this for a little over ten dollars, including shipping. It's got a uh, initials or something scratched in there. The cables obviously been cut, which is quite impressive because there's normally a large middle collet around it. This button feels a little bit weak, but the trigger feels fine. The screws are rusted. Unfortunately, there's a mix between um, Phillips head, which I can open, and security torques of, I think, uh, a very small size anyway. I thought I had security torques that would open it, but turns out I have regular torques. Hmm. This is another eBay purchase here, these two. Unfortunately, not so good of a get. It was sold to me as tested working. And there are parts missing inside of this. This is not the one that was um, pictured with the auction. Normally I'd assume that this was just a last minute replacement because the one that was originally listed didn't work. But when this comes with missing parts and the seller didn't include the cable that was pictured and listed, I'm worried this is broken too. The seller is currently um, sending me a return label so I can send it back and get a refund. Which is nice to have that at least. And going back to older ones, I think the last video I had was of this one, the Sega CD Model 1 with the Genesis Model 1. These things are very cantankerous. I don't recommend getting these if you want to play it, unless you know how to fix consoles and such. Especially if you get it shipped from like eBay or whatever. Locally, if you know it works, just be careful transporting it. There are weights on the cables, apparently to prevent EMI of some sort. 
This is a first generation CD game console, really. And it definitely shows it. And it seems to have been built quickly. There are weird problems with it. The ground trace that goes across the back of the unit is split into two parts. There's a gap between them, and then they solder bridged it in the factory. Yeah. Um, I um, had to reattach the cable to the drive itself because it was loose because there's a weight on it. So if there's um, much movement. I don't know if you can hear that, but it does rattle a bit, and it'll do that even when new. And um, also, I had another problem. There's a fairly common problem where the gear is located right in here. If they're misaligned, it'll think it's closed even when it's open, or vice versa. It'll always think it's. It won't eject because it thinks it's already uh, closed, basically. Need to finish up getting working on that but other than that it works fine Genesis works fine this the even older fine I did eventually get the rest of the stuff that goes with it I have the cable for the uh, RGB monitor now the power supply for the um, RAM keeper unit fortunately moving stuff around to troubleshoot things the paper cable, a cable literally made out of paper and like conductive material through it, broke that goes between the back of the box, the where the power supply plugs in, right here. There we go. The cable go between this and the card itself, just tore, unfortunately. Um, the one meg Apple card uh, burned out completely it seems. It won't um, finish booting if it's the only card in there. And it has to be in the second slot and then it won't check the RAM properly inside the diagnostics for the RAM keeper. <clears throat> the um, third party card works fine and it has a meg of RAM on it. But to configure it to test it out for a virtual RAM uh, drive I'd have to put it, um, I might move it over to a, um, ROM 3 unit after I get it repaired. That way it can boot, um, the higher versions of the operating system. And then see if it'll keep the RAM memory of it. Mm, somewhat neat. If I get it going. Uh, that's it for now.